There's a perception that communication online, since it's written, uh, tends to be a little bit less formal. Um, and we, we see this because of things like, you know, having to condense to 140 characters in Twitter, sending IMs, sending emails. We like to use the abbreviations LOL. Um, and, you know, we see this just by Googling items. Um, people don't use proper grammar, punctuation, etc. So it, it, there's that per common perception that it, it's just because it's online, it's just less formal communication. And however, in an online course, that tends to be very unprofessional and is, you know, is not really the case. In an online course, the communication should really be the same as if it, you were doing communication in the workplace. You, know, you should be using proper grammar, you should be using capitalization, punctuation, and as a student, you know, you need to understand that from the get-go, but not a lot of, not every student does understand that because like I said, they're used to communicating via Twitter or Snapchat or Facebook or any of the other common social media sites that uh, tend to limit them or sending text messages. So as the instructor, it's really important to set the ground rules ahead of time, you know, set the netiquette guidelines, you know, tell them ahead of time that they need to use proper spelling and grammar and punctuation. They have spell check, they have grammar check. It shouldn't be that too difficult to do that. Um, you know, set the netiquette rules ahead of time. Uh, demonstrate for them what proper emails look like. Demonstrate for them throughout the course what proper communication looks like online because that's an important skill for them to learn too. Just because they're digital natives doesn't mean they really were taught how to properly communicate online. And so that's an important thing as an instructor that you can teach them by modeling that in your online course. So check your course for typos, check your course for punctuation errors, um, you know, double check your course, read through things, make sure they make sense. And like I said, and lay out the ground rules for students ahead of time.